purchase of Patrol Dog. The Office for Military Dogs has no dog breeding facility. Future military dogs are mainly bought from the close abroad or from dog breeders in Switzerland. Also, for super attendant a shop. Super attendant a shop. Also, we will them right to move to the place where they go. We will them all with the hunt. Look at what they have to The dogs are subjected to a veterinary medical examination and their character and degree of training is evaluated. A dog that's to be purchased must possess a pedigree and it must be in good health. It's of advantage if the dog has already been trained. The dog buyer tests the dog in the following areas. Gunshot indifference, play and search instinct, subordination, barking, response to environment, biting behavior with and without defensive objects. If the dog already has a performance certificate, this will show the buyer what the dog has already accomplished prior to its evaluation. This will primarily apply to dogs that have been or are involved in canine sport. The age of dogs purchased is between one and four years. As military dogs are often integrated into families, great value is given to their social acceptability. If the buyer's interest in a dog is confirmed by the evaluation, the dog is purchased and provisionally allocated to the Office for Military Dogs. Why provisionally? If all test results are positive, the dog is definitely further integrated into the dog training section of the Office for Military Dogs within 30 days and assigned to a dog handler or recruit later. Also, what we see here in the Ordnung is, in principle, the Hund makes a good match. Er zeigt die nötigen Ansätze von uns, schafft sehr über das Spiel. Das ist genau das, was wir brauchen. Im Milieu haben wir schon gesehen, er hat zweimal ein bisschen Einschränkung für um eine Lade Deutsch wie Abend zu gehen. Im Weissen allerdings er zeigt er sehr schön das Griffverhalten. Und äh, was sich nicht beeindrucken von diesen Abwehrgegenständen, das ist genau das, was wir brauchen. Also der Hund ist für uns sehr interessant und wir würden das sehr gerne halten. Revision of dogs. Upon joining for service and dismissal of a dog handler, the dog is always checked by a veterinary surgeon. general health status, walking characteristics and current vaccination entries are checked. The dog handler personally informs the vet on the dog's state of health. Dog care and apprentice training. Dogs assigned to dog handlers as well as purchased dogs for the recruit school or professional dog handlers are all accommodated and looked after in the dog care section. Cleaning kennels, body care, feeding and ensuring the dog's well-being form part of the daily duties of the trained dog keepers. As a recognized training organization, the Office for Military Dogs also trains young people with great engagement in a three-year apprenticeship as keepers.
training dog subordination. Dog obedience is generally an important part of today's military dog training. One possible option is the interplay of consistently demanded actions that are rewarded with play or food when the result is positive. Training patrol dog biting behavior. A patrol dog must be capable of neutralizing the action of an opponent at the command of its handler. However, it's of equal importance for the military dog to release the victim immediately upon the instruction of its handler. This requires that military dogs are professionally trained in biting behavior. For this purpose, the Office for Military Dogs offers a course for guard assistance. It serves to enable members of agencies equipped with patrol dogs to train professionally as guard assistants. Water courses. The dogs are genuine colleagues for us in every respect. So that we can treat them to a cooling spell in the water on a hot summer's day, we put them through their paces in the water. Even when doing this though, the dogs are expected to show real dedication and not even a hint of cowardice. The dogs love this exercise, a real change of scenery for them, but it has a practical role as well as being fun for the dogs. The dogs learn how to ignore water obstacles when working and of course whenever you can teach a dog something through play, the dog learns it better. Handover of dogs to recruits of veterinary service and army animals recruit school 57. A dog is assigned to Swiss Armed Forces recruits doing their basic military training as military dog handlers by the Office for Military Dogs unless they have their own dogs that meet the requirements of the test and have proved to be fit for military service. During the three first weeks, the expert instructor carries out numerous individual talks with the recruits. The expert instructor compiles a profile of each recruit on the basis of these talks, which is then revised several times. At the same time, the dog trainers also make a profile of each animal. Optimum preconditions are thus established for the expert instructor and his team to assign a suitable animal to each recruit. During recruit school, this handing over is a special day for all persons involved. The expert instructor solemnly entrusts the recruits with their new faithful friends, military dogs of their own. Military dogs in families. Normally, our military dogs are integrated in the family and the private environment of the dog handler when not on duty and are fully accepted as adequate members of the social community.
In this environment, military dogs enjoy the necessary compensation for training and missions.